How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Master Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review of Barrel Aged Hopeful Goodness in the form of Moody Tongue Brewing. It is their Burn Barrel Aged Gingerbread Imperial Stout. 2018 Vintage. Uh, yeah, this beer comes courtesy of Chuck. Thank you very much, homie. He sent me off a box of bonkers crazy awesomeness. And, uh, yeah, this was in there. And I've seen Moody Tongue labels kind of popping around the old Instagrams and stuff. And something about the labels kind of just kind of piqued my interest. So this is actually the first big beer from him I'm diving into. So let's see what's what. Besides the Burn Barrel Age and Gingerbread Imperial Stout portion of the show, it is... Oh, fuck. It's 15% alcohol by volume. Is that right? Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't know it was that big of a beer, but we're going to drink it. Uh, government warning stuff. Wow, that's tiny government warning. I don't think that's legal. Um, yeah, brewed by uh, Moody Town Brewing. That's it. Done and done. Uh, and like the label, just, uh, I don't know what it is, man. You know what it reminds me of a lot? The old school Emily's, um, that uh, kind of, what is it? I think it's a Dutch brewery. Very simple, understated, same kind of color tone, stuff like that. So, Let's give this sucker a pour, see what you got. So, you're talking about a bourbon barrel aged 15% gingerbread stout. Um, yeah. We'll see what's going to go on here. So hopefully the beer shows up because there's a lot of things that can go in a couple different directions with something that's 15% like that. But yeah, I mean, get the bourbon from here, man. Um, yeah, she looks the part of a uh, big, huge stout. And got a rich kind of mocha kind of head to her. Nothing too crazy. Tight, compact bubbles. About a sixteenth of a pinky finger. And she be dark. You know, had a bit more like a brownish, reddish kind of hue to it. So it's not the darkest beer in the history of mankind. But she be dark. Yeah, that's what I like my coffee to look like. <sighs> it's going to nose. I was guessing this is going to be like 10%. I didn't even read ABV, so I've got to prepare myself mentally for this. <sighs> that smells pretty good, to be honest with you. Soft gingerbread. A little bit of soft kind of ginger, a little bit of soft kind of um, nutmeg, um, nutmeg, not even nutmeg, nuttiness with a little bit of kind of meat and a soft little bit of cinnamon there. Your gingerbread spices, but very, very subtle. You definitely get the bourbon in there. Ah, man, that gingerbread comes off more bready, more a nutty, crackery um, breadiness, more than an overt gingerbread spice, which leads me to kind of think about actual gingerbread, man, as opposed to just ginger spice, gingerbread spice. That is super fucking awesome. Yeah, the bourbon's nice. It's soft. There's a little bit of soft red fruit to it. There is a little bit of heat to it, enough to let you know that it's a bourbon barrel aged beer, but not enough to kind of turn you off. And there's a rich, soft, a kind of slightly bittering kind of roasted maltiness to it. So there's equal components across the board. The most impressive thing, nose-wise, is the way those spices play. They're just not over the top. They're very manageable, very soft, impactful. You know they're there. They're definitely up there, like I said, equal parts with the rest of the beer, but they're not overpowering. I like that. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, that's a killer gingerbread stout. This is a really well-made beer. Really well-made. The spices are a little bit bigger in the taste than the nose would lead you to believe. I kind of dig it. It's definitely south of where I dislike my spices to go. It, it, they're impactful. They're showy. They're letting you know you're drinking a gingerbread spiced beer. But it still tastes like the beer is kind of in the driver's seat. And those gingerbread spices aren't the star of the show. Nice mouthfeel. Nothing too crazy. Comes off slightly like porter-like as opposed to imperial stout. It's kind of a magic trick at 15%, so I kind of dig that. So soft, a little bit of soft creaminess to it. Definitely does not drink like 15%. Drinks more like 8, 9, 10% than 15. Um, and that bourbon barrel is nice. You get a soft charriness to it, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of vanilla. That bourbon, again, comes off more as like a rich kind of dark fruitiness as opposed to a big hot kind of spirit. Yeah, it's definitely giving me those gingerbread, cookie, bready, kind of nutty vibes as opposed to that ginger spice. Even though the gingerbread spice, I keep saying ginger spice, um, like it's some kind of shitty song from the late 90s. Um, anyway, um, yeah, it's giving you those gingerbread spices, 
but at the same time, it just, it tastes more like the actual cookie. It's kind of like, you know, pumpkin pie tastes like pumpkin pie, but pumpkin pie beers just taste like the spice from pumpkin pie. This does not taste like the spices from a gingerbread cookie. This tastes like a gingerbread cookie. There's a big distinction between the two. I'm really glad this one lands in the one that you usually don't find. Uh, like I said, those spices are so easy to mess up. It's so easy to get heavy-handed, not just with one, but with all of them. And have one be a little bit too big, or another one too small. There's a nice balance between all the spices. There's a nice balance, even though the spices are probably the biggest portion of the show, which is kind of crazy in a 15% barrel aged beer. But it, 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 it's we're talking degrees here. We're talking, you know, it, the spices and everything are at 100. The beer is at 98. The barrel's at 99. Like, there, there's subtle, subtle differences to it. And I think that's a good thing. Just a little bit of difference. Yeah, it makes it go. The world go round, the cookie crumble. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, let's talk about it. Because I've already said everything I have to say, I think. Spice is bound, well balanced. Um, beer's nice. The beer's still in the driver's seat. It's got a nice roasted malt to it, a really nice kind of porter like, imperial porter like mouthfeel. And the barrel comes off meaningful, but not abrasive. Is this one of the best barrel age stats I've ever had? Or had as of late? Um,. No, I mean, it's in the conversation, but it's not up towards the top. Is this the best gingerbread spiced stout I've ever had? Yes. I'm hard to please when it comes to gingerbread spiced stouts. Um, you know, Hardywood is kind of the king shit of fuck mountain when it comes to those. But a lot of people do do it. And I've had it. I've never seen the spices worked this beautifully, this well balanced before. Uh, so to see that kind of deft hand when it comes to working with those spices in a really well made beer... And really gentle, thoughtful barreling, by far and away. Best gingerbread stout barrelized, barreled or otherwise. Now, that being said, it, uh, there might be one I liked more, but it, because it was over, crazy, over-the-top barrel that just kind of rubbed me the right way. This is just a really well, pretty executed barrel-aged beer. This happens to be a spiced gingerbread beer, and it's just tasty as fuck. Uh, value and availability, no idea. Maybe Chuck or somebody out there in Chicago A can... Let us know what's what when it comes to how much this beer costs and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like gingerbread stout beers. If you like barrel aged beers. If you like well-made beers. This beer will do you proper because it's a really well-made barrel aged gingerbread spice beer. That doesn't suck, especially right around now. It's January. Filming this. I don't know what time it'll go up, but close enough to Christmas to where this kind of still hits home. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcast and stuff. And hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little gingerbread beer right now. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>